I'm Justin Williams, and we're here at AA Callisters. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how to take care of your boots. Now boots, of course, are made of leather, and so you want to maintain that leather so you can have a nice long life with those boots. There's a few things that are harmful to leather. Um, excessive moisture, excessive dryness, uh, dirt, oil, and salt is really bad. And to help protect that leather, you want a few simple steps. Um, first thing you want to do is after you've worn a boot for a while, it becomes dull and lifeless looking. And you want to take and first clean the leather by using whether it be a big one is what I suggest, or a Lexol leather conditioner, it's a pH balance cream. And you want to take a soft cloth, whether that be 100% cotton cloth or a terry cloth, you want to make it slightly damp. Add a small amount of leather cleaner to that, get a light, nice little ladder to it, and clean the boot thoroughly. Be sure to pay attention to stitching and seams, because that's where dirt likes to fall in and hide. Uh, dirt can really do your leather damage by grinding that leather down and making it um, dry and brittle. Secondly, what you would like to do is let that boot dry completely. After it's dry completely, usually anywhere from an hour or so, is you want to follow up with the conditioner. Always follow up with the conditioner. One thing I really like to suggest is BIC4. BIC4 is an all-in-one cream. It doesn't darken, discolor, or change the leather in any way. It also works well on exotics and upholstery leather, jackets, things like that. Uh, Lexol also makes a great one. Uh, it's a non-darkening formula. But you really want to steer clear from anything that's a heavy oil, needs foot or mink. Don't get me wrong, they're great leather care products, but not for boots. You also want to stay clear of anything that has silicone in it or heavy petroleum products, for that can damage stitching and leather. Once you condition your leather by rubbing in much like a lotion, you can either use your hand or an applicator sponge. You want to let that dry completely to make sure that it is not going to darken or, or cause grease to rub off onto your clothing. Once you do that, you may want to waterproof the boot depending on the season, whether it be a wet season or a dry season, uh, winter and spring. I do strongly suggest using a beeswax to either waterproof your soles or your stitching. And other than that, once you maintain it a little bit, your boots will last for many years. Thank you.